okay so now in this video we will work on this edit and delete the notes so when a user click on it then we will redirect the user to the edit screen and from there the user can edit or delete the note so let me quickly add another note let us say office time and then office at it add data and this is our office time then I added this note time and let me add another one and this one will be cycling time okay so now we have this five notes and now let's work on the updating the note so if we scroll down okay inside this own tab we want to redirect the user to the to this edit, edit screen so right here what we will do is to first import the material data type daily and then we will create a stateful widget this one and we will name this as edit screen now if we go back right here we will remove this and then right here we will type navigator.opcontents.push and inside here we have this material page root the builder context will be equals to edit screen so you need to import the edit screen to that file at the top as well so make sure to import it at the top as you can see right there and then we have this current title current description and the document id or the doc id so now get back to the edit titles dot dot file and right here we will create the variables for the current title current description and the document id so right here we will say final string current title current description then document id and we will remove this from here and right here we will type yep we will type edit screen and in here we will type require this dot current title require this dot current description and then this dot document id so now we have this uh, title and this description and the document ID with us so we pass that to the edit screen now as you can see right here we passed it from here to this edit screen and now we will show this data inside the text field for editing the note so let me first create space right here and after this right here i will say final focus node then underscore title focus node is equal to focus node and then we will do the same for the underscore description focus node and then after this we will create a boom variable by the name of is deleting and by default this will be equals to false then in here right here we will return a text detector and inside this text detector what we will do is to say on tab then we will type underscore title focus node dot unfocus and underscore description focus node dot unfocus and after this on tab we will say child then scaffold and inside the scaffold the background color will be colors dot i think we have the color right here okay so from the home dot dot file just copy this color from here and paste it right here and after this we will give it a title so title then a bar title and you need to import this a part or dot file at the top as well because this is the function name let me show you a part title as you can see right here 
so make sure that you have got that file on the top ok but we need to add this title inside the app bar ok so right here we will type app bar then app bar and I guess we did that on the home page as well so we can just simply copy this from here and right here we will paste it so evaluation will be zero the background color will be this the title will be a bar title then the section name will be crud and after this right here we will say actions and inside this actions we will say if the underscore is deleting then we will show padding so we we'll move this so right here we will say padding then const edge inserts dot only from the top it will be 10.0 from the bottom it will be the same 10.0 from the right it will be 16.0 and after this we will create a child and inside this child we will show the circular progress bar so if the is deleting is equals to true then we will show the user the progress bar so if the user click on the delete button then the is deleting will be set to true and then we will show the circular progress indicator so inside this child we will say circular progress indicator and the value color will be all of stroke animation color the color will be red accent and the stroke width will be 3 and in the else block what we will do we will show the icon button so if the user didn't press the delete button then we will keep showing the user the delete button and if the user delete the uh, click the delete button then we will do all of this we will show the user the circular progress indicator and in the background we will just delete one of the node which the user wants to delete okay so on the on pressed what we will do we will say async and in here we will set a state and in here we will set the is deleting to true then for the icon what we will do we will say icon and we will show the icon which is icons dot delete forever let us do this and after this the color will be colors dot red accent and the size will be 32 and right here after we set the state then right here we will say await then database dot delete item and we need to import this database dot dot package at the top and we just create that and right here we will say doc id will be widget dot document id make sure to import this library at the top as you can see right here this is our database dot dot file let me show you and we are using this function which is delete item right here as you can see delete item okay so after this we will set a state and in here we will say is deleting will be equals to false 
and we will re refresh the page so for that we will type navigator.opcontext.pop and that's it let just refresh our application and see how it looks okay now if we enter our id and now if we click on the cycling time now as you can see this is our app bar this is the delete button and let's just delete this movie time so if you click on it here is the progress bar and as you can see the movie time is now deleted and if we refresh our database and if we check the items now as you can see we only have four document IDs and as you can see the movie note is now gone so what this means that our deleting function is now working and as you can see and if you see database as you can see the other document as we id is gone and now we have only three so now in the next video we will work on the update function we will allow the user to update the note so we will do that in the next video